It's not. No, no, no. Do you know what it is? Yeah, I think I think it's the word positive that's tripping this whole conversation. When I say positive, I don't necessarily mean like, oh, I'm gonna get out of the situation. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm saying when I say it flips from a sort a, a, neg a negative in this situation for me, the negative would be I'm gonna die. Yeah. This lion's gonna eat me. I'm gonna die. Question. Gone. Have you ever been in a life or death situation before? Um, couple. And within those situations, did you have a moment where, because obviously it's a negative situation when you think you're going to die, did you think positive before you took action in whatever you did to get out of the situation? I'm, I'm not, uh, so, okay, so you see in these type of situations, yeah? Do you want to the mic again? Yo. Oh yeah, you will. Hear me, yeah? In these type of situations, yeah? <coughs> I'm not saying you necessarily have time to actually think a positive thought to get you out of that situation. Mm -hmm. I'm saying there has to be a positive change. It could be a quick one. You see the, the, the second that you snap, yeah. that's, that second that you snap is like, okay, I'm going to back myself. I'm going to go for it. That's a positive change. Yeah, of course. But that was not your question. Your question was, is there growth within a negative emotion? Right. And there is. The growth no, there's only identification of what you don't want to, to now let you know what you do want. That's the growth. And that's within the emotion. The growth, that's the identification in the negative emotion. The growth happens with the positive emotion because now you're thinking about what you do you want. In order for you to grow, right. you need to identify. Right, yeah. Once you identify, you grow, right? Once without you identify. Identifi without the identif identification, yeah. you won't grow. Right, right, no, you're, you're right. Awesome. Yeah, it's without the identification, you won't grow. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, sure. without the identification, you won't grow. But yeah. when you have no choice and you can't identify, can you grow? No, you not grow. on. Not because if you can't identify, then what, what are you growing on? Split second. If you ain't got the the time to identify with the lion, but yeah, saying, you ain't got the time to identify. All right, cool. Lion comes at you. You're either gonna fight or flight. You ain't got time to identify. It's either one or the other. You can still grow from that situation, can you not? No, I'm saying, okay, the, the identification process in this situation with the lion, I'm saying the negative emotion is that you do not like the fact that this lion is coming towards you right You've now. You've identified that from ages what ago. You <laughs> <laughs> can't still, yeah. Okay. But you've identified that a long time ago. So the negative emotion, yeah, no, of, co no, of course. Yeah. Once so, the lion is running at you, right. at what point are you going to have the time to identify what what action are you gonna say? No, next? you know within yourself because your body will let you know if you like something, you don't like something. Yeah. By how you react to, to you know, your emotion, Situation. how you react to it. Yeah. Yeah. So, this lion, you're stuck. I don't know how how you got in this room, but you're in this room with a lion. Yeah. You're now scared. That's your identification that you do not like this situation here. Yeah. You don't like it. Okay. So for me now, what I'm saying to you is, if you focus on the fact that you don't like the situation. Because that's what growth is. You focus on something, right? Yeah. And you, you, act, on it, you yeah. act on it, right? So if you focus so much on this one thing, how can you grow on just focusing that you don't like it? There's no action, there's nothing. Do you get what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying to you. When you're in that situation, if the lion now runs at you, right. and you don't have time to think of anything else but defend yourself, yeah. You defend yourself, you somehow manage to kill the lion. That's the growth within the emotion. There's nothing positive about it. Yeah, you still manage I'm, to grow from But I'm emotion. saying there's a there's a middle part. So you're just saying negative emotion, lion comes at Sometimes you. Sometimes there's no there's no time for a middle part. There's no time for a middleman. That's what I'm trying to say to you. There's always time for a middleman. <laughs> and what I'm saying in this is the middle part is that split second that you that you turn, that's where the positive emotion is actually occurring. But a lot of people don't realise that that's what it is. Because you've now backed yourself. I don't, okay. Uh, Do you get what I'm saying? I, I hear you, but it's, yeah, I think it depends on the situation because there's certain situations what, that I've been in where I didn't even have time to think. And right. I just reacted right. on the negative emotion and I managed to... There's no doubt that you reacted on the negative emo emotion. I'm not saying that. But that's where the growth came from, reacting off the negative emotion. No, but what did you do to get out of the situation? It depends on the situation. Obviously, I've had... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'll talk on one. Go on. 
when I got caught in the middle of a little situation between two different groups I went involved in. I was just the wrong place, wrong time. Right. And they pulled up about 15 to 20 men them behind me. Mm. Shanks, bats, guns, you name it, everybody. <laughs> Every- <laughs> Ready to go to war. <laughs> what the fuck just <laughs> happened? <laughs> come on, come on, bro. Bro, when I say I coughed and I felt it in my nose, bro. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Carry on. <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. This guy's gonna die, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Any, anyway, anyway. Um, cool. Be- yeah. Everything, everything there. Yeah, yeah man. Name it there. And Would have had. Yeah. I don't know who these men are in it. They're all wearing bellies, face covered, what, whatnot. Mm. And I've turned around now. I've locked eyes with one of them. Mm. Pulled out the big ZK. Damn. Starts running towards me. At what point do I have time to think of something positive? No. The, hey, okay, this is where I feel like you're misunderstanding me. I'm not saying... So I'm not saying... Because I feel like when, when we're, as we're talking about thinking, we're talking about it being a process. So yeah. like, you having to actually stay there and think, oh, I have to get out of this. No. I'm saying the second that you changed your thought process yeah. to I need to get out of the situation... Yeah for my own benefit, yeah. that's a positive thought for you. And it, even it though- It's a positive thought, but yeah. it's coming from a negative emotion. And I'm not, dis- I'm not, I'm not disagreeing. The question was, is there growth from a negative emotion? That's the growth. I'm but saying, no, get- I'm saying, I don't think that's the growth. The growth came from you thinking positive because you haven't, you thinking positive yeah. is the only way that you turn around and run because you wanted that for yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? I didn't have, but that's what I'm saying to you. It, weren't a th- it was not a, it just happened. I didn't have time. No, but I, it's either you freeze in those situations, it's either you freeze, <laughs> or you get chefed up, turn into kebab, or you run. <laughs> you it's can't explain something because say kebab in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> I'm to make... the size of the ZK, <laughs> man, we're getting, yeah. But, but what I'm, one or the other. I, I understand what you're saying, but I'm telling you, well, I'm trying to say to you, you, you identifying. I, I don't. I don't want to get shanked out. right now. Yeah. I know. I'm not. I'm, you're not resonating with that feeling, yeah. right? Yeah. For you to turn around and run. Why did you turn around and run? My life was in danger. Why? Right. right. That's for something that you wanted. You didn't want to die, bro. You wanted to stay oh, alive, bro. No, 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 no. I didn't want to. I had to. That's the difference. You don't. You, That's you, the part you're not getting. You didn't it's have to fly off, bro. It's you didn't one or the other. You didn't have to stay alive. You want to stay alive. You don't have to stay alive. I had to get out of there to stay alive. You're not getting because me. because you want to live, right? Obviously, exactly. I, I so I'm trying to get to you. No, no, no. But I could. No. No, 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 no. JJ gets I what I'm could, saying now. I could have been having a rough day. Right. I could have been like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> like, actually, <laughs> like, is Ashton in the way? <laughs> that could have been me. I, I hear what you're saying. Because, but then there would have been no development with within the emotion. Do you get what I'm trying to say? That is the development, though. No, if you that's, let yourself get shaft. But that's what I want. That's the decision I've taken. There, there's no development. You're done, that's bro. That's the growth, though. I, that's what I want. That's You choose what you want to do. And then you can argue that's a positive emotion as well. Because it's what you wanted, right? Because what's positive is only... It's only. It's because I've been reading a law of attraction. That's why I'm doing this. Here. What's positive, well, from what I learned, yeah. is what you want. It's all what you want. What you want is positive. Think about that, bro. Of course. I'm anything not, you not, want I'm is not, positive. <laughs> but you can link that to anything. So anything that you want... What I'm trying to say is when it's positive. you have no choice but to, because of a negative situation, there's no, it's not coming from something positive, it's coming from the negative. But you just explained to me that there is a choice. You could have stood there, you could have run. I had to run. You didn't have to run. I, you could have, you could have stayed there and got, like you just said. I, yeah, but I, I had to run in order for me to survive. Oh, why do you want to survive? Because you want to live. It's flight or fight. It wasn't up to me. It was That's a party. howler. He said it the wrong way around. Fight or flight. Flight or fight. How was that the wrong way around? He said flight or fight. Who makes the rules? <laughs> Who makes the rules? Yeah. Knife or fork, fork or knife? Fork or knife, yeah. <laughs> no, that was a howler. That was a howler. That was a howler. No, I, I hear you. Either way, when you don't have a choice, it's not up to you. It's how, you resp- it's how your body responds. It's not you. You don't think it happened. You do think. Jesus Christ. You do think. You just you just think out of quicker pace. 
than you normally do, but you do think. I don't think. What, it's, a in, excel, it's, me, a, it's an accelerated emotion. In that situation there, I didn't think to myself, I'm going to run. I need to run. You just did it. I just blacked out. Next moment, I'm running. I didn't think to myself, I'm going to out? run. Yeah, bro. The, the, from what I remember, I looked at him, my man in the eyes. He looked at me. Took out the team. Yeah, there's no time to. There's no. Hey. In between that is a blur. And the next thing I remember is I'm running and I'm hearing bang, 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 right. bang, bang, <laughs> gunshots. Yeah. Hell of gunshots are bringing off in my direction. Right. Next thing I remember, crossing the. Like running across the road, getting hit by a bus. You got hit by a bus? Yeah, bus kicked my, kicked my leg. And you dropped? Yeah. Got back up, ran to my door, ran inside. That's what I remember. That's it. Everything in between, blur. Do you know what I'm saying? Because you wanted to survive. That's I what you wanted. I didn't choose. I didn't have the time to think. It just happened. It's like you're not listening to me. No, I'm listening I didn't to tell you. Myself I, I need to. Survive. I hear what okay. you're saying. There's a the mo- this is where the positive growth comes in. So as I was running, right, I managed to identify my house is at the other side of that road. Right. I need to get there. Right. So if I do end up getting shifted or getting hit by a bullet, at least I'm by my house. My mum and them look will find me. Right. And you get it. Okay. That's where the positive from the negative comes in. But at the start, I didn't have no choice. It was just go or stay. I think, I think we're not going to ever come to a conclusion because I think we're looking at positive in, in, in a different aspect. Okay. And I understand why you're seeing the positive there. I think I'm. I think I'm breaking it down a bit more into just the running pro- the process between when he identifies that the guy's got the, the shank, yeah. and then he turns around and runs. For me, what I'm saying is, from the time he's identified it, his body's let him know that there's a negative emotion going on. Well, he's feeling a negative emotion. He doesn't like that situation. What I'm what I'm trying to say to him is, the positive from that. Was that my body told me to run? Your body, even if it was quick, because we can't comprehend, comprehend fight or flight. Of course not. Who can explain fight or flight? It just right, happens, so right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you I, hear what I, I'm saying? I get you. What you're saying. So it's, I get it, so I get it, I get it. That's a positive it, part of it. I get it. it. No, that's no, what I'm trying I, to say no, to no, him. No, no, you're right. You get it right now? You're right. I hold my hands up, you're right. Cool. You're right. You're right. I pre- this is, this is why the these talks are good. That was the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, I asked that question, yeah, hoping for a quick one. Yeah, we just went at it. So I say this now. There's only identification in negative emotion, right? And for the positive, for for right. positive, there's growth in, in the positive. Yeah. So why do we tend to focus so much sometimes on the negative emotion? Why? If we know there's no growth in it, there's only that identification. More time because when you're, when you get a negative emotion, it ain't the emotion that's, Easily identified. You don't have a negative emotion more than you have a positive. More times I'll go around. So when you do get a negative, you focus on it more. Because it's, it's not something that you have every day. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, it's right. not like an emotion that you can identify very, very quickly. Unless the situation's gone left completely and you're living in a situation that's always left. Mm. More time when you're in a situation or you're living living a decent life because yeah. a lot of us are blessed more than yeah yeah yeah, yeah. what we can what we, for granted a hundred percent we do we definitely do um you're gonna take every little negative emotion you're gonna focus on, on it more naturally exactly the anyway. yeah and do you believe what you focus on more comes to you more yeah it does yeah. you need to read that book that's what the book that, that's what the book's about and that's what I'm trying to say. If there's one thing that I learned, I was just saying it to, to cause you know, I'm reading this book and I'm very excited. So I want to bring the knowledge that I have in it. There's one thing that I've learned. It might sound a bit crazy, but when I read the book, I was like, why, why do people focus on negative emotions so much? Once it's there and it happens, cool. Like it, it's, it's, it's done, it's happened. Cool. It's easier said than done. I think what you need to practice is how to channel your thoughts from going from this, feeling this negative emotion and not focusing on it, to then now focusing on the positive that you can get from that. Because there's always a positive from every negative emotion. Because you're identifying something that you 
don't want to then identify something you actually do want. Mm-hmm. But I think a lot of people, because you can be in a very negative situation, mm. thinking positive, that doesn't mean that's going to get you out of the negative situation. And that's why people don't tend to bother thinking positive. No, 100%. Uh, and I completely understand that because especially when you're in a negative situation, it <laughs> like, do you even have time to focus on your thoughts? Exactly. Do you get what I'm exactly. saying? It's hard to control it. But what I'm saying is, in more time in negative situations, so I'll take, I'll give myself for example, yeah. This week, and that's why I say reading this book came at the right time for me. This week, I went through a tough week where I didn't get much work at all. Whether or not, whether or not, I thought positively about it or negatively about it, I'm still not getting any work. So if I decide to focus on the fact that I'm not getting any work and be upset about it, nothing's going to change there. There's no growth there. That's the negative part. Yeah. If I now think about what I actually do want and start identifying little ways, because you think about something you want enough, you're going to find out more about it. You're going to go and do it. You know what I'm saying? The book says that it will come to your life, but I believe there's, there's action that needs to be put into it as well. Once you identify something that you do want and you start working on that, you start to feel positive. And then... You're more, you're more than likely going to do stuff to help you achieve that aim. Now, for me, I knew that I needed a job in the middle of everything and then I'll be applying for jobs for longer term. But really and truly, me focusing on me not having a job, that was never going to help me. Yeah. No development in that, no growth. So that's what I wanted to share with the guys. <laughs> um... Should we get intro in? Let's go. Double MP, that's Middleman Pod from Hackney to wherever. It's Lucio in the building. And you know the saying, long hair never did care. <laughs> and I'm with the better half of the pod. King Essa in the building. Two Maggies up in the blue cup. You know how we do. <laughs> you <can> practice <laughs> that one, you know? <laughs> oh yeah? Off the top of the dome. Come on. <laughs> Little Snoop. <laughs> uh, make sure you like, subscribe and share on the YouTube, Spotify, follow up. Um... Um, TikTok, yeah, you lot do your thing as well. I see you lot, yeah, man. TikTok, we fuck you lot heavy. Um, but enough of the fluff. What you man really saying? I should have cut. I'm, I'm actually cutting my hair. No, but I'm not. I'm not doing the bow thing. I'm, cut, oh, I'm cutting okay, my hair though. Okay. Yeah, cut your hair, man. Right, but I, I need a. I need a good barber. I don't trust my current bust, barber. Sorry, barber, if you're listening. Let me bust you. Let me bust you. You got a good barber. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Certain Jamaican Donny. Certain. It will I, look think wit- you, I think if you do the the curly, not curl, curly, but like like Malik's old hair. Have you seen Malik's new hair now? It would no. With the man bun plaque. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you see the hairstyle he had before that. It's kind of like a high top kind of. Oh, phase. with that, but you kind of do the sponge thing, that right? Hair, that's that's hair, what I was. That hair's always. This is my next time. Yeah, yeah. Where's you lot support? You're my family. <laughs> 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 But yeah, no, I think that hairstyle would, would. But how? But I'm kind of conflicted about how high I should have it, because I I got a lot to work with. Yeah, have so it, I can be picky. Have it quite high. Right. Look at it. If you don't like it, then trim it now. Every week, this guy, bro. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, right. And you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to change my intro, so I would probably be like Ching Chilla, Magnum Spiller. <laughs> <laughs> I have to change my intro story. That's all, that was what I was hurt about as well. But I'm planning to do it. If I get work this week, I'm planning to do it as early as next week. So no. Yeah, man. So you to look out for the visuals next week. You're the scene with a fade. Just and then, the hey, of if you slap the back up, on God, yeah. <laughs> on God, yeah. On God. I'm carrying a strap for anyone that slaps my head. <laughs> on God, now I'm playing. Get your ears in that. You can't, but... <laughs> all right, cool, man. <laughs> we'll talk off the pod. <laughs> But no, what? So what you not? So what? I'm thinking to do that. The high thing. But what's? Whoa! Pause. Hold on one sec. We had a conversation about this in our old home. Yeah. About you cutting your hair. You said I'm never. I'm not gonna cut my hair any times. My mama's trying to cut it next week. Where, where's this come from? Because I started. I started focusing on how I feel. This book has finished the sky. He's a different guy. I started focusing on how I guy. feel. This book has changed. Do you know what it is? 
no, for, for real. No, if I'm being honest, I've actually always thought about it. And mother of my child, we've had bare conversations about that. Okay. Like, I've always been like, what do you think it will look like, whatever, whatever? And then she'd be like, oh, no, I, I think it will look whatever, whatever. And I'm, but I just can't envision it. Yeah? But, like... That bold Snapchat photo. <laughs> I'm just going to put the picture up. <laughs> That's what it is, people. It is what it is. Like, I think I look handsome anyway. I think I will, I'll be a good 50-year-old sugar daddy. Good one. All right, cool. But um, no, I've I've always wanted to. I've always I've always thought about it, and I've I think it's the sentimental thing in it. I want to keep the hair that I've been grinding for so long, yeah, and it's an investment. exactly. It's but I'm clocking it's now. It's just the maintenance. The the maintenance is the hard. Maintenance. <laughs> the maintenance is hard. Like, it's long, bro. Every yeah. single time I've obviously the person that does my hair, she's very busy. You know, all kudos to her. Shout out Marie's touch. She's always busy, isn't it? She's always got bookings and that. So before now, I used to go to her. I can go to her any time. Oh yeah, I do my hair on this day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now nah, it's a booking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just gotta wait for the for the dates. Yeah, <laughs> do you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, mm. so it's a bit brazy, isn't it? But um, but yeah, I, I think I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it, and we'll see what it looks like after, man. But I'm excited. Because if I don't like it, I'm disowning. It's not about what you fucking like, bro. I'm disowning. You're disowning me. Cool. You. Cool. I right, have right. a question, yeah? Go on. This is a little segue from the mm-hmm. hair and everybody. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your thoughts on marriage? Do you believe in it? Do you not believe in it? Are you, um, it? Are you not with it? No. My short, my short answer is no. Um, and I think... I think, especially with social media, there's so much that's come out to expose a lot of what it's about. Um, and everybody takes what they want to take from information that they get. But what I took from it was, especially in this day and age, like, I'm not a person, I, a lot of people are marrying, for, uh, they, they're they getting together for money, innit? Like, the woman would love the money. That's, a, that's how a lot, oh, that's how, how a lot of relationships we're seeing these days are yeah. going, mm-hmm. at least. Mm-hmm. For me, if I'm gonna get with someone, I'm doing it solely because I love the person and I see me spending the rest of my life with that person. It's not necessarily for money or that I can take care of you or whatever. Like, you need to deep, if you're gonna be with someone, whenever you're, trying, you're planning to be with someone, your thought process should be, I wanna be with you for the rest of my life. Yeah. So you're gonna have to tolerate their, um, what you don't like about them, uh, come to a compromise on and understand what they don't like about you because you're gonna be with this person until even if you die. Mm-hmm. That's the aim mm-hmm. for me when I get into a relationship. Marriage to me, and I mean, educate me if I'm wrong, is just the system or the government being in your business and money coming into what is what was once something about love. It's now, it's now made financial and it's got documents now. And why do you need to put that into... I think, I'll, I'll tell you this. I love to give a woman the day dressing up big big venue yeah. you have whatever you want that's your day but the actual marriage so why don't you get engaged and you just what's in, so what's the difference where you're en route to getting married but then you don't actually go through the whole paper so you just want me to be en route the whole, whole of my life <laughs> well you said you want to give her the, the whole shebang innit but, but that's what I'm saying why why does it have to be marriage? Like, why? Okay, engage. We you just buy the ring. Propose. You ask her to you propose. You know, and bang, yeah, and then give her the day, but you don't actually get married. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can write your own vows and as long as there's nothing to do with like money or um documents signed like written up and to to speak about you all this and i feel like that just puts everything in a in a difficult position i feel like when you get into a relationship you shouldn't be getting into a relationship because i think the fear of that is the reason why that's there is normally especially um back in the day 
woman obviously be at home looking after the children, the guy would go to work. Yeah. So so that allowed the um the woman to at least ha- at least have something if things were to shut down. Obviously she's looking after the kids as well. But is there not something that they have for that? Like they have to pay child support or something like that. Yeah. If they break up. Yeah. So then why do we need we need to split everything if I'm gonna pay child support and look after you lot anyway? I just don't understand it. Like I've never got because I don't get guys well, don't have that mentality where they're gonna be like, all right, cool. This is the situation. I'm, I know I'm still gonna have to look after you, so anyway. So the whole point of the documents and all of that is to make sure you do your part. If you if you don't get married, do you still do you still pay child support? Like if you have a child or someone. No, not you don't have to by law. Oh, is it? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay makes to. sense. But in right, marriage, you have to pay child support when you're married. If it goes to court, more time you're gonna have to pay child support. Yeah. Right. 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 Okay, all right, that makes sense then. That makes so sense. Do you think there's no benefit? There's no positive benefits of being married. Everything I don't think it's any different to the relationship we had before we got married. But then that's there's just documents now. That's where the problem is. Why? It should be a level up. There should be a difference. You shouldn't. A level up, bro. How, if most I'm, marriages if, if I'm and in divorce. Yo, bro, you're with your girlfriend, yeah. Right. You're not gonna treat your girlfriend how you treat a wife, bro. You wouldn't. Wouldn't why if you get married, there's no difference, there has to be a level up because you could be with your girlfriend today, you look and break up tomorrow. How are you treating her like a whole wife? So, what is so what would your idea be of treating a girl, treating someone as a girlfriend, and treat someone as a wife? So, literally, to educate me, levels, isn't it? Certain things that you would do for your girlfriend, you then do times 10 for your wife. There's certain things you wouldn't do, bro. You could meet a girl today, she could be a girlfriend by the end of the month. By next month, she's out of your life forever. So you think you're going to treat her like a wife for that time? The thing is, I wouldn't... get with someone that you get with them with the potential of being with them for the rest of your life or forever. Yeah, right. Yeah. But but this is what but I'm... That, but that could be cut short. Whereas but any, if you're married, you, it's now binding by the word of God and the law and everybody. The word... <laughs> so, you... <laughs> You know I'll saying? never get over that shit, you know. <laughs> the <laughs> word of God, yes. Law, no. I'm not having that. I, I, I get why. Don't get me wrong. I hear you. But you ha- there has to be a, some sort of level up. You can't be okay, but girlfriend. You're on one. And then now you're engaged. Still here. You're married now. Still here. There has to be some sort of... You have to level up, man. It, it, that's just me, anyway. I understand what you're saying. But I just can't think of an, an, an example of the level up. I can't picture it in my head what the level up is. The way I see things is... We're young. Well, I'm young now. Cool, we can get together young. Whatever. We I'm, get... I'm young too. Huh? I'm young too. I, I, I wasn't saying you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you said we're young. Then you Simon said, so God young. damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know what? When, it, when I said we, I was actually... Anyway, let me not talk about it. Anyway. Um, I'm playing, man. I'm thinking about... Let me get my trailer thought back. Yeah, I'm thinking that... The way I see it is... I know we're, like, people are going to change. You, you still have to mature. You're not going to be the same as... Um, when you're 20 you're not going to be the same person as when you're 30 or when you're 40 right so within that time we can identify ways to level up this relationship yeah. it's going to come yeah. with experience with time with getting to know each other on a deeper level of course. it's going to come because yeah just because you're, with, you're, you're your partner for a couple of years it doesn't mean you know everything about them yeah. you still got to know them on a deeper level don't you think marriage is just forcing that level up that level up can come naturally it's not gonna so say you get no, married at 25 24 yeah but then the, that's obviously your well i can't talk for every man in it but right as a man you know okay cool you know the girl that you're gonna take seriously you know this is the girl i want this is the girl that i'm gonna right put it like put everything in place and do everything i need to do because this is the girl i want and then you know the girls that you don't want or the ones you don't take seriously yeah you get it and then there's the one where you know this is the one the one like, right. This is the one I'm going to marry. This right. is the one. Yeah. See those different levels? I can see the levels. So then when you find the one, right. You do everything to try and keep it at that level. She's the one that you want to that the marriage is like the the boss level. Yeah, you're yeah. To, you're trying to get there. Um what is it? Um worry worry is the worry. No, it's not worry. Forget forget forget. I it was Bowser. It's Bowser in it. Yeah. Shit. That's what I said worry, you know. Warrior was a meaty villain. Sorry, 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 sorry. You sorry. Rookie, don't know. Yeah, I'm shit. Sure. Bowser's sorry. the big boss. You, yeah, mm. you're trying to aim for that. When you find that one, that's where you aspire to be. You work, 
obviously together collectively you put things in place